All right, so one of the maneuvers we're going to be talking about uh, next is the emergency descent. Now, as the name suggests, you use this maneuver in case of emergencies. What type of emergencies? Well, it depends if you need to get down to the uh, down to uh, reduce the altitude uh, fast, you can use this maneuver. Uh, some emergencies that you would see emergency descent uh, used is something like maybe if you're flying in a pressurized aircraft and you lose pressurization, you may want to conduct an emergency descent to get down to a lower and safer altitude so you don't have the effects of hypoxia. This is what airlines will, uh, high altitude airplanes will kind of use if they lose pressurization at 30,000 feet. At the times you've seen emergency descent being used is things like an engine fire. After you've run through your checklist, uh, your emergency item checklist, your memory items, trying to stop the fire, if the fire is still going, you can uh, conduct an emergency descent to help you increase the airflow over the engine to try and blow out the fire. So those are some situations where you could use an emergency descent. Now, emergency descent is a maneuver that you will have to show, uh, show your, your check pilot that you can do so. In itself, we still conduct it as a maneuver to demonstrate that you can conduct a maneuver. So we still do the normal things like clearing turns and radio calls before doing the maneuver. But in reality, in real, if you actually had a situation like this, you would just have to make sure it's clear below you before you conduct the descent. Now, the eventually descent is a normal maneuver. It's just a high rate of descent. We'll do this maneuver at 124 knots as we're descending. And for the purpose of the, just demonstrating the maneuver, we're going to descend no lower than 2,000 feet. So the lowest you want to start this maneuver is about 3,500 feet because of the fact that there's a stipulation that says you must recover prior to reaching 1,500 feet AGL. So that's the purpose of the maneuver. So what we'll do is we'll conduct some clearing turns. We'll clear the left area, I'll pick a visual reference. And you want to conduct the clearing turns into the direction that you're going to conduct the emergency descent. We'll look out for traffic and we'll make a radio call. Crescent traffic, Sky 430, Echo Romeo is over the field, uh, west of Flagler at 5,500. Submitted emergency descent, 5,500, 3,500. Conduct that. Our uh, radio call, just to let everyone know what we're doing. We'll also brief our passengers. For our passengers, we'll make sure the seat belts are on, your seat back's in the upright position, all loose items are stowed away. We'll also brief them on the maneuver itself that it'll be a high rate of descent, so your air pressure might be uh, changing quite rapidly, so you have to try and clear your ears by using either something like the Valsalva maneuver or uh, trying to yawn. And if it gets too much for them, let them notify you that, uh, that the ears are hurting or they're feeling sick and uh, you'll stop the maneuver. What we're gonna do is uh, we'll enrich the mixture about half a turn in, uh, turn the mixture control clockwise since we're descending, 2,000 feet, I'll bug my altitude too, and I'll pick a visual reference off my left wing tip since that's the area I cleared. So I got Lake Crescent out there with the southern hook of Lake Crescent. And here we go, so we're going to lift our wing, we're going to slowly run left aileron, left rudder, reduce the powder idle, and reduce the pitch so we've got about three quarter of the ground in our windscreen and about a quarter of the sky in our windscreen. Put the nose down, nice and gentle. Now you will need a little bit of left rudder in the descent. Once we've got 124 knots, there it is. We'll stabilize it and trim it out. Now you'll see what I'm talking about here, about three quarter sky. And, uh, sorry, three quarter ground and one quarter sky. We'll do shallow S turns. Now, why are we doing S turns? It helps us look for traffic. It also makes us more visible as we're doing our descent. We're clearing the area, going towards altitude and my visual reference. Just a gentle shallow S turns. Now you want to lead off your altitude uh, level off by about 100 feet for the Cessna. So here's 3,600, so I'll start reduce, uh, pulling back up to my level pitch, which is a rise on top of the compass. Let the airplane slowly decrease its airspeed and then add the power back in once you get to a safe enough airspeed, about 110 knots, start slowly adding the power back in to cruise power, which is 2,350 that we brought up. So once we level off, here's our altitude, 3,500, uh, and we will conduct our cruise checklist. Make sure it's already enriched. Lights are on. 
and cruise checklist complete. So that's the emergency descent. Like I said, you'd use it in an emergency to lose altitude rapidly, things like a depressurization of the aircraft or an engine fire once you've conducted your checklist. That's how you conduct it safely.